Welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we got air compressors for you. Well, one in particular here, we're going to be talking about the new Craftsman 1.5 gallon portable air compressor, 3.5. I should say three and a quarter horsepower. Uh, it comes up to a max PSI of 135 uh, with a 1.5 CFM at 90 PSI. It's oil-free uh, tank electric air, what do they say? Oil-free air tank electric air tool. I, I don't understand the wording they use on some of these things. The fact of the matter is it's a lightweight inexpensive portable air compressor and by the way when you say portable we just mean it's easy to carry around this is corded you gotta plug this sucker in so we're gonna do a, a quick uh, go over of this we're gonna show you some of the features let you hear what it sounds like show you some of the ins and outs i'm gonna compare it against another air compressor and then we're gonna come back and talk about it some more Okay, we're going to do a quick walk around of the machine. I have to say, it is really well designed and put together for the most part. Uh, everything's very closed off. There's no access to any of the hot pieces. The feet on it are excellent. Some of the best I've seen on any air compressors. It doesn't move around a bunch on you. But this is a big fail right here. They've recessed this port so far that even with the quick release on it, you can't get your fingers in there to move the sleeve back far enough to get it pressed in and it was a real pain now yeah i got big bare hands and stuff but uh you know it's it's kind of rough now the knob here i thought it was decent it's not the best i've used but it's big enough you can easily grab it and and set you know set the the, the pressure that you want and whatnot now as far as runtime before it kicks back on eh, pretty standard actually All right, now if you didn't know, these air compressors are actually made by this group, this industry, like Alton Industries, and uh, they make a lot of other tools for Stanley Black & Decker and maybe some other brands as well. Uh, they make shop vacs, wet dry vacs, I should say, uh, face masks, uh, air compressors, and tools. You have the Briggs & Stratton there. We saw the Stanley, the Stanley Black & Decker. Uh, and uh, in fact, if you look at their wet dry vac list, uh, Stanley, DeWalt, Porter Cable, you know, a lot of the names that you know of uh, come out of this factory. That's one thing a lot of people don't realize is they think Stanley Black & Decker just makes all their own tools, and, and that's just not the case. These these industries are so big, there's so many tools, they can't, no one company can do it all. So OEMing product is pretty normal. And I think it's really cool that uh, Alton reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to review this? And I really appreciate them sending it to review. Uh, now the question that we got to ask though is we got to look at this and we got to be reasonable. It, it's kind of loud, all right. I'm not going to lie to you, man. 80 decibels is what this thing was was running, and it, it maybe even a little bit more. Uh, the the fact is though, I will say this: it, it's not that really kind of harsh rattle your brain kind of loud. The oldest cub was out there helping me. He's like, it's loud, but it's not as bad as like, you know, the old, uh, the old black uh, Harbor Freight thing that would rattle your noggin, but it is loud. It is, this is not a quiet compressor. 
that's what gives me pause, all right? That's one of the things we're going to talk about here. The other thing is it's a steel tank. A lot of the other compressors in this size range are aluminum tanks. Two benefits from that. It makes it lighter, a good bit lighter, and, and aluminum can't rust, all right? <laughs> that's a real benefit. Now, a lot of people are like, well, aluminum is not as strong as steel. No, it, it's, it's not as strong as steel, um, which means like if you dropped it really hard, you could crack an aluminum tank, whereas a steel tank you might dent. Either way, you probably still don't want to use them. But, you know, but let's talk about, you know, just looking at it again here. As I said, you know, the dials and the controls, really easy to use. The handle on top is well balanced. This is, I have to say, a very compact, well, uh, the ergonomics are, are mostly good, except for that one negative thing with the airline uh, hose adapter. That That's really tricky. I don't know why they recessed it so far in there. I get you don't want to get hit and knocked off, but it's it's so far in there it's hard for a big bear to get his paws in there but the rest of it's right sleek all right it it is well put together uh it really it keeps all the hot parts away from you i picked this up after running it on purpose trying to see if i could burn my little paws i could feel some warmth in some spots but i never got seared on, on the uh on the old digits so i was pretty happy about that now 131 i looked at the prices on this thing back and forth blah, blah. it goes as low as like 125 ish low 120s it goes as high as just under 140 i think and so 131 that's kind of an average price on it so what else can you get in that price range well california air you can get that two gallon compressor that i showed you for $155. And that is way quieter. You're looking talking 60 decibels versus the 80 decibels. That fact, you know what? I'm going to go back and check because I think it was louder. What's it rated at? Yeah, I knew this thing seemed louder. It's rated at 87 decibels. I didn't have my, my meter with me. I left it back at the, the place in Montana. So that, that's a staggering difference between the two of those. And I think you could tell from the video. Now, the one thing I'll say about the California Air is it's not as well designed. The ergonomics on this thing are just, they're just not there. It's just kind of like pieces sprouting out of wherever, lots of hot, hot parts exposed, uh, but it is quiet and a lot of people do love them. Now, what other options do you got then? $155, $159, you can get this beautiful cobalt compressor. I love this thing. Look at the design on this. You got a full roll cage. You got perfect, easy access right there on the faceplate to pretty much everything you're gonna need. Uh, the only thing that, that else is going to be the air release down there. Uh, it's got a wire wrap right on the side and 150. Yeah, that's more. But of course, when it goes on sale, maybe who knows what the sale price, you know, like the, the deep discount price on the Craftsman's going to be. And then over at Husky, they've got a great one too. Look at this. Not only does it have a big roll cage on it, but it comes with this integrated accessory bag on the back, which when you've got a lot of fiddly bits, you know, a lot of, you know, the, you got the blow off, uh, you know, gun on it and you're going to get your tire gauge and you're going to get your, all, all that stuff. That's a great little option. Again, you got the wire wrap on the side. Everything's easy to access, keeps the, and you know, with all that stuff, keeps the hot part, parts away from you. And then of course we got the fortress over at Harbor Freight. Now I've got the two gallon version of this. Uh, this is the one gallon, 1.3. This, this is, I'll, I'll be honest, this is the quietest compressor that we've tested so far. Uh, the Cobalt and the Husky are rated at 60, so is the California Air. The Fortress is rated at uh, like 58 or 57. Um, it's, I like the design on it. It's well built. It's got a good roll cage. Uh, you know, it doesn't go all the way around. So it does kind of expose the back of it a little bit. Uh, it, you only get the 90-day the warranty with it. I know that's an issue for a lot of you, but you're at $139. So you, look, at we got $139. You got, uh, what was it here uh, on the Husky? $129 on the Husky. You're at $159 on the Cobalt. You're at $155. So does this have a place? You know, are you going to pay, you know, $131 to get a louder compressor that has a steel tank uh, and in the craftsman name i don't know what do you think about this i want to hear your comments down below i will say one of the real benefits of this is it how compact it is and if you're looking for something that's portable you want something that's small and you want something that that's easy to pick up and move and it is that it really is i do wish they'd gone with the aluminum tank and i wish they could have gotten those decibels down if they could have gotten those decibels down to 70 maybe even 75 if they could have got it down in the 70s and they could have gotten the aluminum tank on it this would be a no-brainer i think this would be a great one to buy or if they can drop the price on this 
get it closer to that hundred dollar mark at which point it's like okay a hundred dollars i can put up with with it being a little bit louder and a little bit heavier for its size anyway that's all the bear has for you today would you think any other compressor or anything else you want the bear to look at let me know down below big thanks to alton group for putting themselves out there and trying i know i've been kind of hard on the stanley black and decker in the past and i think it was really big of them to reach out to the channel and you know <laughs> and be brave enough to do it i really commend you for doing that anyway you all take care god bless and as always come on say it with me shine on